Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at some eye candies at Dior, starting at the Dior Gallery. So the Dior Gallery is located right behind its flagship store on Avenue Montaigne and it's sort of like a museum space that um, exhibits the brand's history, its evolution and you can see a lot of beautiful creations over the years by the brand. And right after the entrance you can find this really beautiful wall that um, has a lot of the miniature Dior purses and dresses. It's absolutely stunning. A little bit of history here of how Monsieur Christian Dior fell in love with this beautiful building where he decided to house the brand in 1947. And I love um, one of his quotes where he's describing the fashion designers as the one of the last refuge of the marvelous and they are in some ways um, the masters of dreaming. And this staircase is perfect for taking pictures because of the lighting, it achieves um, somewhat of a studio effect. The brands use of floral themes and pastel colors like pink and gravel gray are actually influenced by the designer's uh, childhood home. I didn't know this fun fact before, Dior was actually originally known for its hats rather than its dresses. And Christian Dior first started making dresses for another fashion house called Lucien Moulin. It wasn't until 1946 that Christian Dior and his team moved into 30 Avenue Montaigne. The brand's very first collection was only comprised of little trinkets like um, flowers, jewels, scarves, and little accessories. But it wasn't long that Christian Dior started making dresses. Monsieur Christian Dior was fascinated by this idea of transforming a woman through a dress, sort of like waving the wand of Cinderella's fairy godmother. This particular outfit made an appearance in the movie Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. It's a super cute movie about an old lady who saved up every penny of her earnings to go to Paris and buy this beautiful Dior dress that she always dreamt of. This is probably my favorite part of the exhibition. It's sort of like a magical flower garden inspired by Christian Dior's childhood home. And the dresses are of course just magnificent. Can you see the details of the embroidery, the bird patterns, and it sort of opens up at the bottom like a peacock. Here it says that Christian Dior's childhood home is in Granville, Normandy. It's called Le Grump. I wonder if um, we can actually visit it today if we go to Normandy. I love this. Can you see the details? It's sort of like hundreds of delicately pressed um, flower organzas sewn together in a dress.
they've included a recreation of this year Christian Dior's working space, which looks neater than I imagined. And there is also an aerial view of the studio. And I wonder if the ateliers still work in such cozy space nowadays. Isn't this your dream working environment? Just imagine waking up and coming to work in this space every day. This is another space where you should absolutely take photos because the lighting is just magical. It's like studio effect lighting, so your face is going to show up really, really luminous. Love, love, love this place. Love it. And they always have these uh, little workstations here where you can see the duo artisans actually making something. Last time I came, it was um, the perfumer. Um, they were putting together perfume bottles um, here and now they have the hat makers and I overheard them saying that um, Dior is actually one of the last maisons which still make their hats in-house we're about to enter the uh, pavilion of ballroom dresses and as they explain here uh, masquerades and sumptuous balls are one of um, Christian Dior's many fascinations. And it's because of this, um, Dior's current creative director, Maria Gracia Churi, uh, actually hosted her first haute couture collection with the masquerade at the gardens of Musée Rota. This hallway is again one of my favorites. It's got these little um, kind of panels of um, your treasures, if you will. They are just so cute, so precious, so many sparkles. I think this is the model that Lady Diana actually carried. Like, can you imagine? Like, they had a team of people just making these miniature dresses and whatnot for the exhibition. I, I guess it's probably also shown at other places, but they're just absolutely stunning. They explained that this dress was uh, worn by Natalie Portman for the 2021 Christian Dior campaign. So the Dior gallery ends with a little cafe. It's great for getting um, some coffee or a quick bite. It's great for a light lunch. It's got uh, kind of light salads and quick sandwiches. What I have here is the mushroom and quinoa salad. It's a very chic menu they have. Um, the glass is very beautiful as well. It's a crystal glass. You will find no shortage of people taking selfies here and you should absolutely do that. In fact, if you post it on Instagram, there is a Dior staircase photo challenge. Back in the store of Dior on Avenue Montaigne, there is a different cafe. So this one is more of a real cafe. I don't think they have lunch menu. Let's just take a moment to admire the architecture. 
It's so beautiful. So what I ordered is a cafe tiramisu. It looks very rich. And it is. So they've got the um, Dior sling bags and these are the new season patterns. Prices are between 950 and 1200 euros. I love these um, neutral and blush pink color themes. Another staircase with a wall of dresses, but these are bigger and they're all white. I don't know, with all these white dresses, I think Dior should really make more wedding dresses. I think I would totally get married in a Dior wedding dress, although I'm already married, but you know what I mean. I love how this entire store space is like a tropical garden. It's so pretty. These would make great wedding gifts for someone, don't you think? My best friend is getting married, so maybe that's something I can explore. So they've got this wall here dedicated to the Dior Lady art, which are um, the Lady Dior bags as revisited by many artists around the world. All right, that's it for now. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my content. I'll be back. Thanks for watching.